What's up guys, welcome back to Huffman of Tech. I'm your host Ben and macOS Pixel Beta 3 has been out to developers and to public beta testers for slightly over a week now. We saw it introduced on the 22nd of July this year to developers and to public beta testers and it came with quite a number of new features and improvements and also app fixes. So it is good but however it has quite a number of things that still need to be fixed and so in this video i'm going to be talking about a possible release date for macOS pixel beta 4 and also the public version so if it's your first time watching on this particular channel definitely hit subscribe down below so that you don't miss out on any of the latest mac OS content that we have for you. So first things first, let's begin with a possible release date for macOS Pixel public beta. Now, when it comes to the public beta version of macOS Pixel, Apple did say that expect the public beta version by the end of July. So this week is the last week of July and I believe Friday is the last day of July. Yeah, so Friday 31st is the last day of this month. So expect macOS 11 Big Sur public beta as early as tomorrow or as late as Friday. That's for the public beta version. And when it comes to macOS Big Sur developer beta 4 or the beta 4 version of macOS Big Sur, we can expect it next week. Now, I say next week because if you look at beta 2, Beta 2 was released on the 7th of July this month and this year and Beta 3 was released on the 22nd of July 2020. So Apple has been on like a two week release cycle when it comes to these beta updates when it comes to macOS and iOS 14. So that's why I say Beta 4 is probably expected next week somewhere between the 4th of August to the 6th of August. It's usually between Tuesday and Thursday. So when it comes to the release date of macOS Pixel Beta 4, we can estimate it to be released between the 4th of August to the 6th of August 2020. So let's look at some of the changes that we expect to see when macOS Pixel Beta 4 comes out to both developers and to public beta testers if Apple also releases the public beta version. Okay, so if we go to the top left corner and go to the section that says about this Mac, you can see that the software version that I have here is version 11.00 and this is a beta as you can see here. And the build number that I have here is 20A5323i. If you were to search this build number that you see here, this would give you macOS Pixel Beta 3. So that's the version I'm on and this is the letter that I have at the end. As you can see, I have an I at the end. Now, when we were actually on Beta 2, we had a B at the end. And I did tell you guys and I actually told Apple that this is actually too early to give this Beta 2 a B at the end. And so I'm happy to see that with Beta 3, we have an I. However, when it comes to the expected macOS 11, and big Sur beta 4 i expect to see something like an f or an e when it comes to the update version so it will be more stable than the i that you see here on beta 3 and that's something that we expect to change when it comes to macOS pixel beta 4. if we go to the storage section here you can see that you know it just takes a moment to calculate and if we go to manage storage here you can see that it calculates um, the other storages available in the different compartments that are taking up storage in the system and as you can see for me here system is taking up about 16.24 gigs now that is okay and for macOS 11 big Sur, this is an average update size or average system size and yeah that's basically normal so when you update to macOS big Sur, beta 4 the system should more or less remain around 15 to 18 gigs and as you can see on beta 3 so far it's okay now when it comes to some issues that we expect macOS Pixel Beta 4 to fix when it comes out, there is actually an issue when it comes to the update itself, right? So you saw that for me, this is actually 16.24 gig. Now, when macOS Pixel Beta 3 came out, for me, it was around 4.95 gigs, but for some people, they were reaching out to me and saying the update came in at around 12 gigs, and others were saying that the update came in at around 15 gigs. 
fatigue so that is a known bug and so many people have actually reported it on the apple developer forum and so when macOS pixel beta 4 comes out this is something that we expect to see resolved and hopefully all devices get you know almost more or less the same update size you know when it comes to mark where speaks uh, beta 4 now the second issue that i would like to mention when it comes to mark where speaks uh, beta 4 has to do basically with the battery itself so this is my battery that you see here and as you can see it's plugged in and the power source is the main power supply and if we're to go into system preferences and go to the battery section here this is how it basically looks and that is my usage over time and for the last 10 days but if i was to go to the top left corner here and then click about this mark and go to where it says system report and basically go to where it says power power is right here you can see that you know i have basically 272 cycle counts and my battery condition says normal now for some people after updating to mark os pixel beta 3 they got a message saying condition needs to be serviced and basically your battery will tell you that you know your battery needs to be serviced it's in a, an abnormal condition and this message was passed around irregardless of you having enough cycle counts so basically the mark has a certain number of cycle counts that it can undergo before you can service and basically if it degrades to about 80 percent that will tell you itself and also the cycle counts should be i think 1000 cycle counts that's abnormal so basically that's something that came with this update and it's a known issue and if you did get the message and you know your battery cycle count is hasn't exceeded that normal value know that that is a known bug and it's expected to be fixed with mark west pixel beta 4. the next thing that we actually would like to mention when it comes to mark west pixel beta 4 that it's going to fix has to do with touch bar issues now when most people updated to mark west pixel beta 4 the backlight on the touch bar started to act weird the lighting and also you got these weird green colors after restart and the touch bar wasn't so responsive after that so that is a non-issue i also have experienced it from time to time and i did use this feedback assistant app that you see here to give feedback with regards to mark west pixel beta 3 and that is something that mark west pixel beta 4 will fix hopefully they do keep the green colors on restart around i like the way it looks and the chime it just goes hand in hand with the green colors and hopefully they keep that around also the next thing that we would like to mention has to do with basically i messages and FaceTime. Many people are having issues when it comes to basically synchronizing these two and also just logging into your FaceTime and messages. That is a bug that many people are facing and hopefully Mark West Pixel Beta 4 fixes those issues when it comes out. Something else that Mark West Pixel Beta 4 is going to fix if we go into system preferences and go to software update. Now when Mark West Pixel beta 4 is available basically to developers and to public beta testers there are people that will not be able to see this update and the same case happened with beta 3 and apparently there's some serious issues that are going on between different macbooks when it comes to seeing the update whether you have the developer or the public profile so that is an issue that apple is aware of they haven't said how to resolve this issue so if you don't see this update know that that bug hasn't yet been resolved and i do hope that they actually can get around it when it comes to mark west pixel beta 4 be it you have a developer profile or a public beta profile now also something else that we expect mark west pixel beta 4 to fix is basically access fan usage so if you go to this section here on the top corner and then you go to four squid you can see all the programs that are running right so i'm running all these programs at the same time and for me there actually isn't any fan noise my macbook is fairly silent and yeah as we can see here if we go to the about section here and you can see that you know the graphics that is being used is this one but yeah no noise at the moment but some people are experiencing excessive fan noise after updating to mark west pixel beta 3 and that is something that we expect mark west pixel beta 4 to easily optimize when it comes out 
also something else that many people are experiencing is you know the update taking more space than it's actually anticipated or supposed to so that is a non-issue and that is definitely going to be fixed with Mac OS Pixel Beta 4. There's also this issue that you see here posted on the Apple documentation site. So it says updating to Mac OS Pixel Beta from previous version of Mac OS might take significantly longer than expected. Data loss could occur if update is interrupted. So beware of this if you are coming from any other version that is not Mac OS Pixel Beta 1, Beta 2, or Beta 3, and you update to Mac OS Pixel either the public beta or the developer beta whenever it comes out. Be careful so that you don't interrupt the update and you lose your data. And yeah, basically, let's look at now the community pool that uh, you guys voted. So I did post this uh, question here. And as you can see, these are the votes. And we had about 88 votes. I think when it comes to Mark OS Big Sur, this is the highest number that I've got. Thank you very much for voting, those that voted. And I'm happy to see that, you know, 35% the highest number of votes said it this is update is great, you know, so they were finding beta 3 great. And the second number of highest voted option, you can see that it says I'm using different version and we have about 32. So these two numbers are almost even. And I can understand why this number is high because the public beta of Marquez 11 bigs uh, isn't yet out. So I'm sure when it comes out, this number will basically reduce because more people trust the public beta version. Also, 19% said, okay, but some bugs. I would actually side with the 19% because, yeah, it's, it's okay, but, you know, it comes with quite a number of issues. And as you can see, I'm highlighting some of them that I expect Mark West 11 big sub beta 4 to fix. And these 7% and window users are actually you know the same they are even you see we have seven percent that said beta 3 is terrible and we have seven percent that said forget mark windows is the best so this number actually went high from the previous version i don't know if this is also incorporating people that updated to beta 1 or beta 2 or beta 3 and then realized that it had quite a number of bugs and decided to use a secondary windows laptop but yeah this is the community pool and if you look at some of the comments that we have here sasco hopefully i pronounce it correct it says it's fine i have used it for a day on my mom's 2018 macbook air and that's great to hear that it's working fine for you and mambo says I'm on 10.15.6 waiting for the public beta. Again, so many people are waiting for the public beta and the videos that I posted with regards to the public beta are actually doing well. So yeah, hopefully it comes out as predicted either tomorrow or on Friday. And also DJ0214 says I'm using Marquez Majove in my late 2012 iMac Catalina runs really slow on my Mac. So. I also had so many issues with Catalina. I actually decided to switch completely to Big Sur and I'm enjoying my experience, although it has quite a number of issues and bugs. But yeah, I would definitely go to Big Sur compared to Catalina. And then Kevin says, I'm staying on Catalina 10.15.5. If you have no issues, that's fine. You know, that's okay. And then Tech Pro says it's okay. Randy K says, I'm having several issues. I have provided three feedback to Apple. Programs are lacking, iMessages, incoming phone, EDC. So hopefully those issues are resolved when it comes to Mac OS Pixel Beta 4. And yeah, I did mention some of them when it comes to FaceTime and iMessages. And those are some of the issues that Apple knows about. And hopefully they'll be resolved when Mac OS Pixel Beta 4 comes out. And like it says, I can't update from Beta 2 to Beta 3. So yeah, there's quite a number of people who couldn't update. And that is a non-issue I also highlighted. And it's something that we look forward to Mac OS Pixel Beta 4 fixing when it comes out. And also uniforming the update size to be somewhat similar if it comes like between 10 gigs for all devices it will be around that range for all devices unlike some devices getting 4 gigs and others getting 15 gigs that is so abnormal saravana says i'm using a late 2013 15 inch macbook pro and it's 
on the developer beta 3 and it's really smooth the boot up time is very fast it's nice so that's good to know that you know for your late 2015 it's working and yeah charles here says i have beta 2 but can't update to beta 3 i'm always in the loop so charles is having the same issue with lucky and as you can see there's quite a number of people facing this issue and then gadget and go here is facing frequent battery preferences issues and statistic when it comes to screen usage i guess so hopefully those are some of the issues that can be resolved when mark west pixel beta 4 comes out so for me when it comes to battery performance i really can't complain i actually haven't been using it so much on battery so if i was to go to my usage here you can see sort of you know the energy usage that i had and basically these are the days that i try to use it mostly on battery and this is the screen time that corresponds to the battery usage and i really can't complain when it comes to battery usage by the way i like this new battery icon that is here and yeah it reminds me of the iphone 3gs my first ever iphone so also when it comes to performance wise you might get a few glitches here and there i noticed you know when using iMovie sometimes it does sort of respond late and also some of the other bugs that i mentioned before i am experiencing those from time to time and hopefully those uh will be resolved when macOS pixel beta 4 comes out and performance wise the device continues to perform flawlessly and that leads us actually to the question should you update to macOS pixel beta 4 when it comes out well i really think that when the public beta version comes out it will actually be a good time to update especially if you are experiencing so many issues and bugs when it comes to catalina because so many people are waiting for the public beta version right and also when it comes to mark os 11 big so you can see that apple held back the public beta version because of the so many bugs and issues that we initially saw so all those bugs that people are experiencing on catalina had to be addressed first with mark os big so and as you can see here we have so many application and also software changes and design so apple decided to delay this mark west big cell public beta and when it comes out i think it would just be the right time to update and it will be stable and improved in terms of battery life and performance so basically that's about it for me guys when it comes to a possible release date of mark west 11 big Sur public beta and also mark west 11 big Sur beta 4 if you like this video please leave a like and hit subscribe down below and thank you very much for watching stay safe and i will definitely see you in the next video very soon peace